Hi, I'm Jordan. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you're here. I'm a stay-at-home mom of two kiddos, ages four and 10 months. And today I have a Dollar Tree store haul for you. <laughs> so I did some shopping at the Dollar Tree and I was able to get things to decorate for Easter, um, a couple other Eastery goodies, and also I found some things um, that we're gonna be using in our homeschool. So let's go ahead and take a look. The first thing that I found were these cute gnomes. This one has bunny ears. Um, he's got a green hat, green shirt, and these pink striped socks. He's very tall, as you can see. <laughs> How tall is, as you can hear my baby in the background. I also got him a friend. So he's got a little blue hat, yellow shirt and then blue stripes for his long feet and legs. I don't know if you saw them. Little eggs attached to their hands to say Happy Easter. I also got this Easter sign. I'm not actually sure where I'm gonna end up putting this, but I thought it was really cute. Maybe to put by a doorway or something. Maybe with my tall fellas. I also got this hanging sign. This is Hippity Hoppity. This was really cute this could probably be used for um, like hanging on a door. I like to hang things on the doorknobs around the house around holidays. I also found these cute little like wooden decor things, but they're made to look like jars. This one says Cottontails Candy Cafe Jelly Beans. And this other one says Treats for My Peeps. <laughs> I thought these were really cute. Um, and I might put them up against my kitchen counters. I also like trying to find some decor to put into my bathrooms around the holidays. I think that's really sweet. Another idea I had for bathroom decor, uh, it might just be countertop decor, is I found these cute like boxes. So this one says Happy Easter and it looks like it has like painted bunny and chicks and flowers, which I thought was really cool. Really pretty. <laughs> And then this one that says Happy Easter, um, join the egg hunt. And I really liked these. And I have this idea that I would put um, maybe fake flowers in them. So I did get a bunch of fake flowers while I was there as well. I got these um, dahlias, agapanthus, lilac, hyacinth, a second hyacinth, another hyacinth, but this one actually looks more white than the other ones looked kind of creamy. A stilby, a stilby, I guess. If, if you know how to say the name of this flower, please let me know. Um, but yeah, so I kind of had this idea that I would put them like in to be like a piece. I might have to trim them a little bit. And then I also found, they're like little eggs. Um, on sticks and I thought I could also incorporate this into my little flower arrangements and have these maybe on a bathroom counter or um, maybe on top of our piano or something. I thought this would be a nice addition. Another piece of decor I got was this sign here. This is Cottontail & Co. Egg Farm. Hippity Hoppity Lane, one mile ahead, egg hunts daily. I thought this was really cute. It looks like a cutting board. So I thought I would put it in my kitchen, maybe next to um, the art piece that my son did for Easter. I thought this would be really cute. These signs as well. This one says Hippity Hops Carrot Patch, 25 cents, organic, locally grown with the bunny and carrots. And this one kind of matches. And it says pick your own carrot patch, fruits, herbs, veggies, farm fresh daily. And they even have like real burlap around the edges. So I thought that was a really nice touch. Finally, as far as Easter decor goes, I got some window clings. This past uh, Christmas, my son uh, got to put window clings up that we got at the Dollar Tree all over the windows. And that was just so much fun for him. That was uh, a big highlight of our holiday season decorating together. So I got more, um, but they had the Easter ones. They came in these packs with two different ones. So this is the one that was on the back and this is the one that was on the front. Here's another one. This is the front side. 
and this is the back side. Here we have the front. This one has little gnomes with the bunny ears, kind of going with our little gnome theme. And the fun eggs on the back. And then finally we have this one with our bunnies and chicks. And on the back, it's a whole bunch of different animals and bunny ears. While I was there, I also picked up this craft to do with my son. Uh, it is a little foam bunny. You have all the shapes here. He just gets to glue it together and it comes with googly eyes. And my son loves googly eyes. So I thought this was a great pickup. I also got a ton more eggs. So I got two of these lighter kind of colored iridescent eggs. These are a little bit bigger than um, some of the more standard eggs, I should say. So these will be good for some of the bigger treats that we're gonna give my son. I grabbed two of the metallic ones in rainbow colors. And I got a set of the smaller eggs for like jelly beans. Even though I already had purchased things to put into my son's Easter eggs, uh, in our family, those are the gifts from mom and dad. I couldn't resist when I was at the store getting some more things. I just couldn't help it. For one, I grabbed the smaller pack of ring pops. Um, these are my son's favorite and he just had his last one. We had a set of them from Valentine's Day and he's finally eaten them all and he was really disappointed. So when I saw these, I was like, I might as well snag these for at least four of his eggs. I also saw while I was there, these really cute, tiny trucks with little signs. There were four trucks in it and three signs. Um, so here's this pack. And then I found this pack as well. So when I open this up, I'll be able to put individual trucks into the eggs, which is great. Um, I'm just gonna have to have my son put these up or play with them at the table. Um, there are very small parts and I don't want my 10 month old to choke. So this is definitely gonna be a at the table toy, but he is going to love these. Additionally, my son loves stickers and I had kind of forgotten about that when we were initially getting things for his eggs but I found a bunch of puffy stickers. So my plan is gonna to be to cut around them and stuff uh, several at a time into some of these bigger eggs. Um, but here's one with like air travel things, helicopters, air, hot air balloons, and airplanes. This one is all about motorcycles and like um, speed, I guess. <laughs> Little fishies, owls, monkeys, race cars, turtles, butterflies, and Jurassic World stickers. My son loves dinosaurs, so this is gonna be great. That wraps up everything that I was able to get from the Dollar Tree for Easter. I also was able to pick up some things while I was there that are going to be included into our homeschool, which is really exciting. If you're interested about what we do for homeschool, check out some of our other videos. If you're also interested to see any of the other things we're getting our son and our daughter for Easter this year, go ahead and check out that other video in the description below. So for our homeschool, one of the things I wanna do this spring with my son is plant flowers. He's been really asking about it and so, I thought, what better way than to pick up a couple of seed packets while we're there. I picked up quite a few, but only have a few varieties. So we have in general in our home, a lot of blues and golds. That is um, some of our favorite color combos. So that's kind of the theme I went with when I was picking out these seed packets. So I found these blue flowers called Bachelor Button in blue boy color marigolds in petite yellow, marigolds in Cracker Jack mixed colors, and I got California poppies in extra golden. I'm really excited to start this planting and I'm also excited to see what I read was true. Uh, last year we had kind of a wasp problem and I was reading up that marigolds are supposed to actually repel wasps because they give off kind of a spicy scent. So I'm excited to see if that's true or not this year. Also for our homeschool, I picked up two more binders. 
Um, we are incorporating time and money, and I was able to pick out something from Teacher Pay Teachers that I really liked, so stay tuned for our homeschool update. I can tell you more about that. But I do need some place to put it when I print it out, so I needed to pick up two more binders. I stumbled upon this, the discovery of animals dot to dot. This is really complex. Just this first page alone, I can see the numbers go way into the triple digits. We're talking like 350, and I think higher <laughs> on this page alone. So this is not gonna be for right away, but I knew I would regret it if I didn't pick it up while I was there. Um, as we get further into his math program and we're starting to count higher and higher numbers, I think this is gonna be a lot of fun for him to practice. And then finally, I happened to overhear a woman talking about this, and I'm so glad that I did, but they had there these sticker by number puzzles. So inside the box, it has the number, and then you put down the sticker and it creates the picture. So they had a bunch and I got pretty much one of all of them, but they had mermaids, carnival, superheroes, and then in a different style of the same thing, um, I saw a Hot Wheels one and a Fisher Price Little People one. So those are all of the things that I picked up at the dollar store today. I think that these are gonna be great additions to our homeschool and I'm really excited to put these decorations up for Easter. If you're looking to do any last minute decorating, I highly suggest you check out your local Dollar Tree you might be surprised at some of the treasures you're gonna find. If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. If you wanna see more videos from me, subscribe. Thanks for watching, have a great day.